Hello. This is the second part of uh, Netcat. What we're going to do, attempt to do here is we're going to try and transmit a file over Netcat as a pipe. Okay, so here I am on Windows XP version 64 and you can see inside this directory I have a file here called k.jpg. Picture of Catalin Linux. We're going to try and transmit that to Linux. If we go here, if we do a directory search, there's nothing here, and here's my file manager. There is a JPEG here at the moment. Couldn't load it, nothing there at the moment, so it's empty. So I'm going to uh, delete that. So there's no file here. Uh, file's gone again this time, so clear that. DIR, nothing there, ready to go. We're now going to go back to Windows, OK, and we're going to run a command that is going to transmit netcat, well, it's going to netcat listen mode on port 1234, and it's going to take the contents of this binary data, k.jpg, and feed it into netcat. This is called a pipe. OK, so now we are piping data as soon as somebody connects on TCP 1234. Back to Linux, we now want to receive that netcat information. So netcat 192.168.100.120, the IP address of Windows XP 64, port 1234, pipe the data that comes from there into test.jpg. Hit enter. It appears like it's transmitting. Go to here. We're assuming we're fully transmitted. I'm going to terminate the link at this side. We've automatically terminated the link at this side. List space minus LAF. OK. We can now see we have a large file called test.jpg. Let's go to window uh, to our, our image viewer and we can now see a picture of Kylie. So that binary file was actually transmitted through Netcat as raw data. Let's delete that and we'll do it again but we'll run it whilst we're running Wireshark. Okay. So now continue without saving and I want to listen to TCP port equivalent to 1234. OK, so I'm looking for that binary data. Let's um, go back to Windows XP. I now need to transmit that file, so it's waiting for somebody to download. Back to Linux. OK, we don't have that file here at the moment. It doesn't exist. We're now going to download that file. Netcat 192.168.100.120. TCP port 1234 and we're going to dump it into test.jpg file. Hit enter. We notice immediately in the background now something happened inside Wireshark. Go to uh, Windows and close that pipe. We'd have been doing that remotely of course. Go back to Linux. Linux has finished. Test.jpg is now present. The space minus LAF and it is a large file. Let's go to Linux. Let's see what actually happened here. We opened a connection at SYN, SYNAC, and then ACK. So let's do a TCP follow stream. Okay. J5. Okay. Ducky Adobe. What can we tell about that? Well, it, this is binary data that's coming from that location. J5 it means JPEG. It's the very beginning of the 